This process should be super simple. So I'm really hoping that it will be. I meant to film this months ago when this brand sent me this nail kit, Rossi Nails. I found out I was pregnant like one week after that and nausea hit so bad. So I took a break from YouTube for, for a while and actually took a break from nails in general. I just did not have the energy or the motivation to do my nails. But I'm super, super excited to finally try this. This is their honeymoon kit, by the way, and we'll go through everything that in here this is not sponsored I do have a code with them but it is not active right now they shut down their ambassador program for some reason during COVID so I don't have an active code either way we're gonna find out if these are actually good in all honesty it should be super simple I've tried this before I tried a different one before the Violet Voss video I'll link that above as well but make sure you please read the description on that video too but yeah different one meaning different brand but still nail dip powder it did kind of take a while with the first one, but hopefully this one won't take too long. They do set you up for success, so you should have everything that you need in here. And from my understanding, the only other things that you would need is a file. I am actually going to personally be wearing a mask as well because I don't want to breathe in any of the like filing from my nails, especially since I'm pregnant too. I don't know if this is going to have a strong scent or not. I'm definitely going to wear a mask just to be safe. But I'm sure everyone has masks at this point, so shouldn't be hard to get one so yeah let's go ahead and get started i'm victoria leone by the way i would love it if you would subscribe that would just be so amazing and it's honestly so much fun to see the numbers growing and to see you guys leaving comments that makes my day when you guys leave comments i just love it so um feel free to leave a comment if you'd like to like this video subscribe you know all the things that would be wonderful hopefully you enjoy this video i hope this stuff works out good so let's open up this kit and see what we have in here they sent this whole box which again thank you so much for sending it i just was ecstatic to receive this in the mail i thought it was so sweet that they wanted to send me something to try out and review so we have first this little glam powder i'm guessing this is the color yeah so this is in the shade honeymoon which looks like it's a pretty light pink they also sent i don't oh these are different like little brushes okay cool they sent a little baggie that has four different like applicator brushes in there i wonder maybe just for extras and there's also like a pad multiple pads <laughs> there's four little like pads also so <laughs> that's cool so we'll find out what those are for there should be directions on here somewhere and then we have this which is <laughs> It's such a guess. I, I opened this months ago when I first got it and I like showed it on Instagram, but I haven't like used it yet. So I don't know. I don't remember everything that's in here. We have base coat, number two, number three, which is activator, and then a top coat, which is number four. Why don't they have a number one? <laughs> Then it came with a little direction, so let's see what we're going to do. Step one, apply a thin coat of base coat. I'm gonna file my nails first because I know that you need to do that. It's better to buff your nails, and honestly, if you have like a pH bond, I would recommend using that too. That just kind of strips your nail of any extra oils or anything like that and will help the product to, for lack of a better word, bond to your nail or stick to your nail, I guess you could say. I'm just gonna take a file. You don't have to have a charcoal one. Any file will do. And I'm just going to lightly file the top of my nail and also shape them. I wish my natural nails were a lot longer, but I like my nails to be super short, so I am not very good at growing them out long. I'm so excited to try this out, honestly. I do really love how they set you up for success. I noticed that with another kit too that I got on Amazon, which this one I believe was $35, technically. I didn't pay for it, but I did look and see and it was $35, and I will link it below so you guys can get this exact one. They have sparkly ones, and and all sorts of fun things. So I do love that they have a variety. All my links, or most of my links, I guess, are affiliate links. So I do really appreciate when you guys shop through them because I do get a small commission from them and that is just so, so helpful. It helps me to continue to be able to make YouTube videos and be able to buy more makeup products to review and nail stuff and so I do really appreciate when you guys shop through those links, but of course that is up to you. <laughs> okay, so now that my nails are all filed, we're ready to move on to the next step. So I'm gonna open up my mask and put it on. I'm going to really quick just take off a little of my lipstick. 
least the glossiness of it because that's definitely gonna just come off on my mask. So let's slip this on. So we're gonna start with the base coat. That's what it says to do for number one. Apply a thin coat of base coat, a hairline away from the cuticle on all nails. We're going to take just a bit and go ahead and apply that to all the nails. So it looks like the applicator holds quite a bit of product. I am smelling it through the mask a little bit, so I'm really glad that I'm wearing it. But just one like dip in the applicator went through my whole hand, so that is really encouraging. Oops, I accidentally messed up my nail a little bit already. Okay, but with this hand, I had to dip into it a couple of times. It must have just had a little bit more dust on it or something. But anyways, okay, so then it says quickly. Oh, it says after you apply the base coat, you want to quickly dip into the powder. Oh my goodness. I feel like this is kind of like high school when you take one of those tests and you go to the very end and like the very last question is like, don't fill out any of this test. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm just gonna go for it still. I'm gonna do my thumb first. So I'm just gonna dip it in the powder. Remove excess powder using kabuki brush. I do have extra kabuki brushes, but... Man, okay, definitely read the instructions more thoroughly. I'm just gonna shake off my hands a little bit and go and grab a kabuki brush. You could also just use a makeup brush too if you have that handy. I'll link my kabuki brushes down below too. I got like a pack of three. Kabuki brushing off of the powder. Then repeat steps one and two until you get the desired color and thickness. Then you wanna apply the activator. And then you file shape and buff them into a smooth surface. Wash your hands to get rid of any powder. Wipe the nail surface with alcohol. Okay, so you also need alcohol. You apply another coat of the activator, wait for it to dry, then you apply the top coat and allow it to dry for two minutes and then you repeat the top coat one more time to get a glossier shine. Okay, before we continue again, I'm gonna go grab that alcohol really quick and then we'll continue with the base coat and the dipping in the powder. I'm sure that 90% would probably be better if you have a 90% isopropyl alcohol. I just have 50, so we're gonna just use that. We'll just do one finger at a time. So I just put base coat on my thumb and we're gonna go ahead and dip that now into the powder. I'm gonna go ahead and do a third coat just so it can be a little bit thicker and have a little bit more pigment. I do wish that I had put on like nails and stuff because my natural nails are just so short. I like a more like elongated nail because I feel like that really slenders the fingers. The color is actually looking really pretty. You can see it in the camera. It's kind of more of like a blush pink. I'm just gonna skip through this last coat and then we can move on to the next step. All right, they look pretty thick. I'm not gonna lie. So I did three coats in total. They look a little rough. They definitely are gonna need to be filed. It's so interesting how you can feel like you applied it so evenly, but then when the powder sticks to it and dries, it is so bumpy. It says to next apply liberally the activator. We're gonna put this on just all over the nails and see what happens. Then it says to let it dry for a minute and then we get to file it. I'm excited to file. I feel like they look not the best right now. <laughs> Okay guys, let's file away. I'm going to focus especially on the sides so I can slender out the nail and then especially the cuticle. I remember that being a huge problem with the last nail kit is that when it grew out, there was um, this really definite kind of a ridge and so it kept catching on my hair and it was really annoying. So just make sure that you file really well along the cuticle and along the sides. That's what I'm gonna do really quick is just be a filing queen for a second. And then it says to wash your hands after that. So I'm just gonna file this and then I'm gonna go wash my hands. I just realized something else in the instructions. It says file shape and buff to smooth the nail surface, wash hands and nails, or use a lint-free cloth to wipe the nail surface with alcohol. So <laughs> we don't actually need the alcohol because we just washed our hands. Now I'm gonna apply another coat of the applicator. 
Now we wait for that to dry and then we get to apply the top coat with quick thin strokes it says. Something to mention, so you guys, this is my first time trying this out with this brand. And one thing I do have to mention is to be careful on the filing. I definitely filed my nail down too much on almost all of my nails on this hand. This hand's not as bad, but just be careful. There's some like gaps that's not gonna show up the color as well and it's not gonna look as pretty. So just keep that in mind when you're doing yours at home. I think this has been so easy. So I have been enjoying this so far. I I feel like I prefer this set over the other one that I tried. We are gonna do like a, a wear test of sorts and see if it chips or if it lifts or something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the top coat. Well, that one doesn't look very nice. I know what those little extra things are for. It is definitely for this because that like hardens really fast and it's kind of creating weird stripes on the nail. That's so strange. It's like hardening and making the brush firm. What on earth? It's like really challenging to do quick thin strokes when it's not coating the nail very well. Ah, oh, this is so hard. I don't know how I feel about that. It just is so strange. This is the part that burns. I I want to elaborate on this really quick. So with the previous kits, the last two times I used them, I couldn't remember which step it was, but something with the chemical reaction just burns on your finger. It's not super painful, but you just feel your finger getting really warm and hot almost, if that makes sense. So it was the top coat that did that. My finger started getting really warm and hot. It's not a very comfortable feeling. It's not awful. They just feel really warm, but just wanted to note that just so you're not surprised. Okay, we're gonna let that dry for two minutes. I have a very strong feeling that when I take off my mask, like all my foundation is gonna be gone from my nose. <laughs> Oh well, I'd rather be safe and kind of blocked from some chemicals than not, you know? All right, it's been two minutes, so I'm going to put on another top coat. So I will see you guys back in just a bit. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and take off this mask. Oh my gosh, my nose. Oh, ah, it looks so bad. <laughs> there is no foundation on that. <laughs> this looks so gross. Okay, so thoughts on this product. I really liked it until I got to the top coat. Um. I think the color is really pretty. I love like that light pink. It's a super, super, super natural color. I feel like it's almost the same tone as my nails already were. So now they're just all a solid pink. Definitely be careful with the filing. That's on me. So that's definitely not the product's fault that it's kind of a little uneven on like my index finger and a couple other fingers, but that top coat was horrible. I'm sorry. That honestly kind of frustrates me a little bit that the top coat would get completely ruined with just one use. I did probably two fingers before the brush started clumping up and hardening. Almost as if you paint something and you leave the brush out and you don't like clean it right away. Sorry, this is the hair, hold on. And it kind of gets like hard and clumpy. If you can visualize what I'm talking about, that's how that brush felt, except for it was almost instantaneous, which I think that's part of the chemical reaction and stuff and how these are able to harden and, you know, be basically like gel nails. Oh, I love the click. <laughs> I love that. That's one of my favorite things about having nails is when they like click. But anyways, if that makes sense as to why we were given a bunch of these, but there's only four. Four. So does that mean that you can only use this kit like four more times before you have to buy replacement brushes? I'm not quite sure how you would clean these. Maybe you could clean them in uh, um, the alcohol. I know there's a lot of people that have success with these dip powders, but just that top coat is really bothersome. I just don't like how, how challenging it was to use because I think that my nails have some like ridges in them. They're completely dry now, so I can touch them. They're all firm and everything. I was waiting for them to dry. And I'll film with like my phone so you guys can see up close in kind of a different lighting. Maybe I'll go outside or something too so you can see what they look like. This hand is really not that great, <laughs> but this hand, because of the top coat, it just doesn't look that awesome so i'm kind of just disappointed seriously if there's any like avid fans of this kit somebody who really loves this dip powder and is a pro at it comment down below and give like a tip or suggestion with what to do with the top coat because i don't know i definitely would prefer to have more than just a few uses
Rossi Nails, if you're watching this, if you have any answer on that top coat, please let me know. I don't want to be talking down on a product, but at the same time, I feel like if I can't easily use it, when I feel like I'm good at nails, then I don't feel like I could recommend it to somebody who might not be as good at nails. So that's just my thoughts. That's what the nails look like in just like the sunlight. See, this one just has so much texture and it feels really rough. And then here's where I missed some filing. So my natural nail is showing through. I still think the color is really pretty. My other hand turned out better. Like it's just all the nail. But do you see... <sighs> Sorry, there was a fly. Um, but do you see like the brush strokes or like the texture? Okay, so listen, I had to get COVID tested because of this. <laughs> I know that's just like, what? I don't know if you can tell, but I'm kind of a little bit stuffy right now. And I've been coughing and I cannot believe it, but I think I'm allergic to these kits. I know that sounds kind of dramatic, but you guys, the last, I've only done these types of kits three times twice with the Violet Voss one and then with this one. And I was telling you guys in the video that the scent is fairly strong, especially with the top coat and the activator. Like you can, you can smell it and you can definitely feel the chemical reaction on your fingers. And the first time I tried it was the day before we went on a cruise and I got so sick. I thought I just had a cold. And when I started feeling better after we got home, which was about a week later, I decided to try the nail kit again because I wanted to feel pretty. I want to have my nails done. And so I did the kit again. And sure enough, I was so frustrated because I had just started feeling better that day. And then almost instantly, like within an hour after using the kit, I got so sick again. And it was horrible horrible. I ended up having to go to the urgent care a few days later just because it had gotten so bad and I could hardly breathe. And that was earlier this year, like I said, in January. When this happened again yesterday, within a few hours, I noticed my breathing was different and I just was like, this cannot be a coincidence at this point. So I researched it and I found that other people have had the exact same symptoms the same reactions. I decided that I would just go to urgent care. We were 99% sure that it's not COVID, but because we have family coming from out of state, we really wanted to see, and just everything going on, and just to be respectful of everyone, because I was feeling sick, even though we're pretty sure that it was allergic reaction, I'm so convinced, but we decided just to have me get tested just so Tony doesn't go to work and affect anyone and stuff like that. So did come out negative, which is super good at this point. I do not recommend this kit. I really was not impressed with the finish and then oh my gosh I had to take it off today because I didn't want to File it off later and then breathe in like the filing because I don't know like what part caused this reaction It was so hard to get off the hardest nails I've ever had to get off ever Sometimes when you're using a dremel if the friction is too much then it'll cause like a hot sensation on your nail I don't know what it was about my nails but it would not stop doing that i tried different settings different files and that rarely happens to me like i've gotten it down to where it very rarely happens because it hurts too like you don't want that to happen i even tried soaking it off which seemed to help but i soaked it for half an hour and it still didn't take it all the way off i still had to file it has been a disaster, you guys. I feel so horrible because I know that a lot of people think this kit is super cool. I just don't think that I can recommend this. And any other dip powders, I honestly would just say stay away. Sorry this review went so crazy, but I hope this was helpful. Again, sorry it went so wonky, but I'm going to be as truthful as possible with you guys. And so... Yeah, I hope you get something that's gonna make your nails look super pretty. I do really love the Gelin gel polish. You can get that on Amazon. I'll link a couple of my favorite sets down below so you can get a couple easy links to those, but I'm not gonna be linking any of the dip powders because again, I just don't recommend them at all. Anyways, bye guys. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell and all the things, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Mwah.